What up? This is Rama Screen, and in the anticipation of the East, which arrives everywhere starting this weekend, August 13th, I'm here talking with the star of this new film, Martijn Lekemeyer. How are you, Martijn? I'm very good. Thank you, man. Thanks for having me. Good, good, good. Um, full disclosure, I'm Indonesian, born and raised and grew up in Jakarta, Indonesia. So yeah, I'm very familiar with the history between the Netherlands and, and Indonesia, which I'm sure you had some knowledge of as well. But coming into this project, did you have to do more extensive research into that? Or did you mostly depend on Jim's script? I'll tell you what, I, did, I didn't know anything about the whole, um, about the whole um, uh, situation. Oh. Which is a big issue here in the Netherlands, actually, or I mean, big issue. It's something that we want to make a big issue that that it's not a it's not a, um, a common knowledge. You know, it's not in our history books. We don't learn this piece of history uh, in in our schools. Um, so I mean, and and some somewhere, you know, it's 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 logic. Uh, it's logical because because it's a it's an ugly piece of history for the Netherlands. Um, but still, I think, you know, like right now we're, we're 70, 75 years later and it's really important to, to learn our kids, um, how, how history, um, you know, what happened. So yeah, it was quite, it was quite strange for me to find out that I didn't actually know anything about the whole, um, about the whole subject. So, uh, it was a, it was a big study for me. I read a lot of books and and um watched a lot of documentaries and stuff and um, um it was a complete new world for me wow that that is something really big uh, i understand though uh, that your character i mean sorry i'm sorry your co-star's character uh, marwan kenzari played raymond mm. westerling who was an actual historical figure uh and he was controversial uh to my people indonesians so but what about your character, Johan? Is he based on anybody real in particular? Is he an amal amalgamation of several characters blend into one? Or is he a complete creation, new creation by filmmaker Jim? It's a creation, but parts of him are definitely based on, um, uh, on like um, memoirs of uh, uh, Dutch soldiers hmm. that have kept... Um, you know, uh, memoirs of like day-to-day -day life in Indonesia in, in those days. Um, but I think he's, he, Jim definitely tried to build a character that sort of tells the, um, the story of someone who has a certain ability to, um, to have a wide view of the situation. I think uh, Johan is, is someone who, um, who is, who has, quite some empathy actually and who who is there to because he really wants to help and um but he's just he's just being given the wrong information um yeah so that i mean that that was really interesting for me to um to dive into you guys shot this location uh, on location in uh, indonesia this film um was that your first time there? And uh, what was your overall impression of my homeland while you were there? Man, it's a beautiful country. <laughs> it wasn't my first time. I had been there. Uh, I'd been on, on several islands, but I, I hadn't been on uh, Java where we shot the film. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, it was an out of this world experience to be able to shoot a film in Indonesia and our crew was actually 80% Indonesian. Mm. Um, so it really felt like, um, yeah, we were, we we're genuine, you know, shooting, shooting a film in Indonesia with, um, it was such a respectful cooperation between two countries. That, that's what it really felt like. And um, I think that's also really important as opposed to the, you know, the story of this film. Did you, fun question, did you take home any souvenirs uh, with you from Indonesia? Were you, were there any particular Indonesian food that you like when you, that you eat there? Anything. <laughs> gado, gado is definitely my favorite. There's a, there's a, um, there was a uh, warum uh, behind my hotel where I really love to go and have dinner where they had the best gado gado. Yes, I love that. I read that the production went through or experienced many difficulties and complications, heavy rainfall, river floods uh, that wash away parts of the set, crew members got sick from some of the uh, sunstrokes or food poisoning or even animal bites. 
this does not surprise me at all because uh, Indonesia is a, a tropical 24 seven and in, in the equator, it's humid, always humid. So we don't have four seasons. So the natural elements are always unpredictable. Uh, but tell me how challenging was it really the experience of shooting there? Did all the things that I just read to you, did, did they actually happen? Did you find yourself um, in this whole production to be physically grueling? Uh, yeah, they, they did uh, happen unfortunately <laughs> but yes they they did happen um indonesia is a, is a savage country <laughs> to shoot a film in but um yeah i mean uh it, it's it's just uh it's definitely certain kind of factors na uh, natural factors that we are not used to as a dutch crew um and um yeah yeah, they they definitely did happen, and it wasn't. I, I guess it, it it had something to say about um, that this film. It, it's just not easy. It wasn't easy to make this film in every sense of the word. I suppose it, you know, these these natural factors, but also the um, uh, you know being able to eventually shoot the film in Indonesia instead of some other tropical country. Um, has been it's i know it's been hard on a productional level to uh create the 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 respect and understanding and the trust between indonesian authorities and the dutch producer um you know to be able to make this film uh, because it's just such a sensitive subject and um so it's it's really it's really cool that 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 we've been able to shoot it in that country and that it's it's showing right now on different um, video on demand platforms in Indonesia as well, so people can see the film over there. And I think that's that's really special and important, and I'm I'm really proud of that. You mentioned your character Johan earlier about being empathetic. Uh, let me ask you about your uh, the dynamics between you and Marwan. Um, you know, because Marwan is supposed to be like the villain, if you will. Um, how do you guys create that uh, on-screen dynamics between uh, you, uh, the, uh, your character wrestling with your conscience, and 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 Raymond Westerling, who has his own agenda? Uh, funny enough, it was it wasn't that hard because Marwan himself is quite an impressive character. Mm. Um, so uh, I was I was already quite impressed with him, and um, and yeah, he's he has a he has a certain. Um, something i can't find the english word for right now but he has um yeah some some magical magical energy um so he's, he's a really special guy really special actor i was glad to work with him and, and learn from him i guess uh, my final question to you is um you know with this you know with war movies in general of course there's a wrestle between dramatic license creative license and historical accuracy or historical authenticity. Um, so what, what do you think are the themes that Jim was trying to convey with this film? Um, what is the purpose of the East it, 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 from his perspective? And what do you hope the audiences would take away from watching the East? I know that a lot of people from my generation are, are just you know only being introduced to this subject and the hist historical situation. Um, so that for one, for two, I think that, um, that it, it gives different perspectives on the situation. It gives the, the perspective of Johan, but also the perspective of, um, you know, let's say the, the, um, uh, the Indonesian fighters, the, um, or the, the man who, who, who comes and help the Lukman Sardi, uh, role who wants to um, wants to protect his daughters and has to come over to the Dutch uh, because he needs their help. Um, so there are, there are so many different angles to, to look at the situation. And I hope that the film really shows that, that, that that's really what it was. It was so complex. It's so it's still so complex to, to, uh, to really understand what was going on. Um, so, but I mean, on a on a broader scale, I I hope the film eventually um, uh, will be a part of um, you know I want I I hope that people who are still stuck with with 
with certain negative feelings or unanswered questions about the about that piece of history that the film helps with that boy i tell you um uh, lukman sardi is one of my favorite indonesian actors so i'm i'm geeking out that you guys got him <laughs> for one of yeah. the roles in this film so that was so cool of you guys and um so the, uh, yeah uh, for my fans at home everybody go check out the east arriving everywhere starting this weekend august 13 martin thank you for talking to me and congratulations thank you so much for having me man